everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day today. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my monthly empties, all the products that I managed to empty this month, giving you guys my honest opinion on them, whether I think they're worth repurchasing, whether I think they were hot garbage, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So just before we get into it, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I post every Monday and Saturday. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this video. So I have all my empties in this glossy box here and it actually doesn't close, like <laughs> it's too full. So we have a fair few empties this month. So I have some skincare, some perfumes, makeup, all that kind of stuff. So I don't even really know what kind of order to go in. So I think I'm gonna start off with a body cream first. So I only emptied one body cream this month and that is the Dove Nourishing Body Care Self Tan Lotion. I have the one for medium to dark skin. I obviously use this when I am fake tanned and I've been fake tanning a fair bit this month so this actually did get quite a lot of use and I've actually opened another one which is kind of lucky that I had another one because I really wasn't sure but I actually really do like this. I feel like the tanning colour of this is a little bit on the orange side, I'm not going to lie but I just like it to kind of help with the longevity of my tan my fake tan lasting a little bit longer so what i usually like to do is i'll either use this on a night time before i go to bed or when i've got out of the bath or just in the morning if i have time put a little bit of this on and it just helps to moisturize my skin it smells really nice it doesn't smell like fake tan it smells like a really nice cream and it helps with keeping my tan on a little bit longer so i do really really like that stuff Whoa. So then just a really easy one. I have emptied a small Volco hand sanitizer. Now, if any of you guys have seen my makeup dressing table, you will probably have seen that I have a lot of hand sanitizers in front of me, but I always just use the first one I grab. Whereas now I really wanna just get it down because I don't know why I have so many on there. Like I only need one on there and I have on there right now, I have five on my dressing table right now why why so yeah i've been working my way through them so this is the first one that i managed to empty i do keep these and refill them up because i have if i just show you i have a big carex but i would never take this out with me so what i used to do was put this in sorry put this in here um and i actually i must have emptied one of them that I've already done that too, but that is what I used to do. And I probably will still keep one small bottle and refill them with this and just put that in like my handbag or whatever, or and probably then keep one on my dressing table as well, actually. But yeah, I finally emptied that because oh, I don't know why I have so many. Also, if you can hear like a bike or something, there's a motorbike. I'm pretty sure driving around outside, it's doing my head in because why can't you just be quiet when I'm trying to film? Thank you. So then I have a couple perfumes. So I have a little sample here of the Jimmy Choo Fever perfume. I really don't even know where I got this from. I don't know how long I've had it, but I recently reorganized my set of drawers for like hair care perfumes, body creams, all that stuff. So my other set of drawers that just always looks like hot garbage i finally reorganized it so the fact that i can see all my perfumes i'm finally using up all my little minis and stuff so that is all gone i only got a couple uses out of this but it did smell really 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 nice i don't know if i would ever repurchase it but i did like it a lot and then on to a bigger perfume so this is the Armani She. I actually love this perfume. It is genuinely one of my favourites and one that I often repurchase. And it's often the one that people get me for Christmas and stuff as well because it's just what I always wear. So I finally emptied this one and I have a bigger bottle of this ready to go in my drawer. So glad to have this out. But I love this perfume. It just smells so nice and you can wear it in the day but you can also wear it on like dates and stuff like that. Like I just love it. It's a really, really, really nice perfume. So then I'm gonna move on to a little bit of skincare. So 
First of all, I've emptied a little travel size of my Garnier Micellar Water. I really like the Garnier Micellar Water. As you guys have probably seen, I've had one of the bigger bottles in my empties pretty much every single time I film an empties video. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this. And I just decided to get this mini used up because I don't really think I'm going to be going traveling anytime soon. So I didn't really need to keep this little mini bottle lingering around. So I'm currently trying to use up some of my minis at the minute. But yeah, if you like my cellar waters, the Garnier one is actually a really, really nice one. So this is the PS Prep and Perfect Oil to Milk Cleanser. Now I really enjoyed using this. It melted my makeup off brilliantly. It was really, really nice. But I ended up having to take it out of my skincare drawer because it leaked everywhere, hence why the packaging is so beaten up and nasty looking. But also I realised that if I get this on my clothes, it stains, like it leaves really bad stains. And yeah, I just wouldn't repurchase this for that reason because a lot of the time I'll just quickly take my makeup off and then, you know, then I'll get in my jammers and stuff but a lot of the time i would just be sat in my clothes using this and if bits of it like dropped onto my clothes my clothes were then ruined so it's a good cleanser but it leaks the packaging is dreadful it just leaks and also the pump is way too aggressive for the type of product that this is because it's so watery it as you would pump it into your hand if you then pumped another pump which I use at least three pumps of it, it would squirt and like splat everywhere. So it was just a bit of a nightmare, which is kind of a shame because I did really enjoy the product, but I wouldn't purchase it again for that reason. It was only three pounds, but yeah, like I said, it literally ruined my clothes. So I wouldn't repurchase it for that reason. So then the last bit of skincare, this is the Garnier Moisture Balm Moisturising Gel Cream for nighttime. And I would repurchase this. I really enjoyed this night cream. So it was really, really moisturising and I really liked how it felt on my skin. Like it was very light, but in the morning my skin just felt like butter. So I would repurchase this. I really, really enjoyed it. And I actually don't have any night creams in my collection at the minute. I've been trying really hard to not buy any new skincare and I didn't realise that I literally had no other nighttime skin creams. So I've just been using my usual daytime one, but some of my daytime moisturisers have got SPF in, so using them on a nighttime is kind of a little bit silly. So I do need to buy a new nighttime skin cream. But yeah, this one is a really nice one. So this is possibly one that I would repurchase. So then the last few products are makeup products, but I definitely need a quick tea break. So onto the makeup empty. So if you watch my project plan, you probably will know what products I have emptied, but if not, spoiler, <laughs> by the way. So I finally emptied the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Primer. And I did really enjoy this primer, but I wouldn't repurchase it just because for me, it's kind of wasted. Because I always do my skincare in the morning anyway. So a primer like this is pointless to me because it's more like a moisturizer that has like priming properties. Whereas if I wanted that, I would just use a moisturizer that primes my skin for makeup anyway so i probably wouldn't repurchase this but if you don't like to do skincare <laughs> in the morning which you should but if you don't like to do it this is a good moisturizer and primer duo it's really light on the skin and obviously makeup applies on top of it beautifully but i myself wouldn't repurchase it then i have the revolution pro cc perfecting foundation so i definitely wouldn't repurchase this i hate how it sits on my skin like it blends into the skin lovely and it looks really nice on the skin but i have really oily skin and this just does not set down properly at all it doesn't mesh with like the powders that i've tried on it at least very well at all it literally does not want to set and i felt like i was just going in and in and in with powder trying to set this down to the point where I would end up looking really cakey and I much prefer using less powder now. I really don't use a lot of powder on my skin anymore. So yeah, the fact that I was having to go 
in over and over and over again with powder just it just wasn't for me and I just really didn't like how this looked on my skin so I wouldn't repurchase it but I like I said I do have oily skin so it might work better for drier skin types I don't know but it has SPF 30 in it which is good but yeah I definitely wouldn't repurchase this I'm gonna never repurchase that product to be honest with you then a product that I actually would repurchase so <laughs> this which you literally can't see what it is so this is the mua brow pencil and there is probably enough in this for me to do my brows one more time but the i can't sharpen it anymore like physically can't sharpen it anymore so my brows would look dreadful and i wouldn't be able to get any kind of hair like looking strokes but i would repurchase this it's super cheap i think it's like two pounds or something like that for this brow pencil and I did really really like it it has a sharpener on the end so it's super convenient and a spoolie on the other end so even more convenient and I really liked the color of it I felt like the color of it was perfect for my brows and I just really liked this brow pencil as far as sharpening brow pencils go this one was actually really nice and I definitely would repurchase this if I wanted another pencil brow product like this so then last but not least i have the l'oreal infallible more than concealer and i'm so glad this is out of my collection now i feel like i'm gonna get a load of hate for this but i hate this concealer and i know so many people like it even people that i watch on youtube that i have very similar skin types to and products that work for them work really well for me too so i feel like i have the same makeup preferences as them they even love this i hate this i hate this concealer it doesn't blend properly under my eyes it didn't set very nicely with powder it creased under my eyes i really like it for spot concealing i feel like for spot concealing it's really good but the shade that i have is very very pale because i like it to brighten up my under eyes and i my natural skin tone is very pale so this is pretty much stark white so spot concealing with this was a little bit hard because of how pale it was but i did manage to get to realize like it was i could still use it for spot concealing if i did it before i did my foundation so that's how i started doing it but yeah i definitely wouldn't repurchase this concealer i just i really don't like it and um, i know so many people do like it but it's definitely not a concealer that i would repurchase i it just it was a nightmare in my makeup routine an absolute nightmare and i'm so glad it's out of my collection because i never ever want to use that product ever again yeah and on that note i'm gonna quickly sip my tea so those were all of my empties this month i felt like i really flew through them so hopefully this video is not too long i have been trying to not ramble as much in my videos but i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like that really does help me out and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me i post videos every monday and saturday but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really really do hope you enjoyed but that is all that i have for you today and i will see you guys in the next one bye